And welcome to another edition of Licorice Pizza. That's right. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Um, Licorice Pizza t-shirts right here available, okay? They're from small uh, to extra large, okay? And they're uh, really great, as you can see on the uh, screen as well. All right, who am I going to talk about today? All right, we we got we're going to talk about the Partridge family. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to offend any Partridge family people out there. Uh, anyway, but no, it's going to be Bob Seger. Uh, it will be Bob Seger, the great Bob Seger. Love his voice. That's that. He's the type of guy that you just put him with an acoustic guitar without a band, and he'd sound great. He's got that raspy, just that that just an unbelievable soulful voice, Bob Seger. With. And, uh, okay, we'll go back to 1969, back when it was the Bob Seger system, okay? Rambling Gambling Man, the what, just an amazing recording. That studio recording, I love it. The way the drums start, uh, that is a tough song. That is great stuff. Uh, 69, he released two albums, 1970. Mongrel came out, that album. So this guy's been around in the early 70s. Released uh, a bunch of albums. Great, great albums. Didn't do much as far as charting goes. You know, Beautiful Loser and all these great songs that, that he did. Until 1976. So as usual, I do my, you know, I'll do a top three Bob Seger. My favorite albums, Bob Seger, Night Moves. Uh, that came out uh, in 1976. And uh, when I first heard that on the radio, brand new song by Bob Seger, I said, this is going to be big. This is a great song. I knew it. And it was. And that first album, well, we'll go through the uh, track listing. Sunburst, Mary Lou, Night Moves, of course. Uh, Main Street, great song. Uh, Come to Papa, Rock and Roll Never Forgets. A mixture of slow, fast, Great, great, uh, great music on that record. Ship of Fools, yeah, yeah, great, great stuff. Sunspot Baby, and The Fire Down Below. Yeah, there's not a bad song. Every song off this album is uh, stellar. Yep. Second favorite album, Stranger in Town. Now he, uh, you know, he he recorded that album, and this guy's getting really, he's right at the top, top of his game. Uh, we've got tonight, Hollywood Nights off Stranger in Town. Uh, feel, you know, feels, I feel like a number. Great song off that album. Ain't Got No Money. Uh, old Time Rock and Roll. <laughs> yeah, you, do you know that one? Risky Business, Tom Cruise. You remember the scene? You know, uh, okay, you could scratch that one right out of there. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. The fa <laughs> But every album, uh, every song off this album, still the same. Yeah, that was a top ten song, I believe. Bob Seger. And uh, the distance. Uh, love that. Love that album. At number three, it's got the song um, "Shame on the Moon." Listen to the words of that song. Just a killer song. Beautiful song. "Shame on the Moon," Bob. Seeger. And he's released some stuff in the 90s and I think a couple years ago he's even, he's, he's still doing it, you know, at his age. He's been around a long time and a lot of live performances uh, under his belt, that's for sure, Bob Seeger. But that that's something special about the Night Moves album. I love it when artists are kind of like just kind of floating there, they got a following, but then they, they hit it with that one, that one album just takes them to the top, you know, other bands have done that, you know, and, uh, well, U2, yeah, they, you could say they did it in excess, another band that did it as well, but Bob Seger, yeah, they were known as the, um, Silver Bullet Band on some albums, and I noticed in some of Seger's albums, just Bob Seger, and then Bob Seger's system, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it's like John, it's like John Cougar Mellencamp, then John, no, John Cougar, then Mellencamp, or something like that, I don't know. 
Well, Prince was kind of like that too, the artist formerly known. Prince always had a reason why he did anything like that. Uh, in one of these episodes, we'll, we'll, we'll do uh, an episode on Prince. But there, there's, a, there's a quick thing of Bob Seger. He's got a list of so many, so many albums. But Night Moves, um, this, again, one of those albums, Stranger in Town, Great Against the Wind. Probably at number four, that album, uh, The Distance Three. Uh, that's, that's really a strong album. Bob Seger, but I would, if you're going to, if you're not real familiar with Bob Seger, I would start listening to, um, just my opinion, um, Night Moves album. Just listen to it. You know, every song off that's really strong. Again, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And my favorite, uh, before I go though, okay, my favorite, favorite slice by Bob Seger, Shame in the Moon. And, uh, Underrated slice, shame in the moon. Song does not get enough airplay. It, it's just a. It was kind of a. It was a hit. I, I'm pretty sure he did release that, but it, you know I don't think it was like a top ten or anything like that, for some reason. But uh, yeah, yeah, great, great song. So uh, there you go. Again, um, like, comment, subscribe. Licorice Pizza, T-shirts, right here. They're beautiful, so, you know, small to 6XL, all right? And they're nice, beautiful shirts, so uh, there you go. And uh, again, Bob Seger. Who am I going to have next? I don't even know myself right now what artist will be coming out or I'll be uh, talking. There's so many great bands and great artists, so I'll surprise you. I do know that. All right, that's another edition of Licorice Pizza. Peace out.